Okay, once again, we are at WesterCon with presentations for future Worldcon bids, and we have here a representative from the Montreal in 2017 Worldcon bid. Is this close enough? Closer? Okay. Closer. Closer? Yeah. Okay. That's it. That's it. Wow. This is really close. I don't think I've ever been this close except with boyfriends. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Jamie Shea. I am representing Montreal in 2017. Um, we are bidding for Labor Day weekend in 2017. We're bidding for mainly the Palais facilities, which is what we used in 2009. Um, which is, in the, if, for those of you who haven't been to Montreal, we are in the center of the city. It is a walking city. All, um, the majority of our hotels are right across the street. There's an underground if you choose not to cross on this ground level. The main reason that we are bidding is 2017 is a major commemorative year for both Montreal and Canada. So we have opportunities to show off Canadian science fiction to the world, which permeates throughout. If you're aware of any of the Canadian productions, the books, and so on and so forth, as well as basically inviting our friends to enjoy this gigantic year-long party that we're having because it is the 150th of Confederation, the Union of Canada, it is the 375th birthday of the founding of Montreal, and it's the 50th anniversary for Expo 67, which led quite a few people into science fiction and fantasy. Um, let's see. Um, the major difference between the 2017 bid and the facility that, facilities that we used for 2009 is we will not be using the Delta Hotel which was the party hotel. Uh, <laughs> come on, we were looking after your health. You got I was a daily walk. All right. You know, you got a daily walk. <laughs> well, unfortunately, it is being converted to condos for student housing. So um, the, the, the students, since Montreal is 375 years old, we don't have standard dormitory setups like most land-grant North American universities do. So, um, so that, that's why, alas, the Delta will not be with us. But we have the Holiday Inn in Chinatown, we have the West End, we have the Embassy, we have the Intercontinental, we have the Hiltons, which I believe with the exception of Hilton, which may be a little bit of a longer a block away, those are all across the street. Um, in terms of eating, it's Montreal. We have 300 restaurants within walking distance. We have 800 if you want to go 200, uh, two kilometers out, but within uh, about half a mile less, we have 300 restaurants for, for your eating pleasure. Um, it's an old city. We have lots of cultural events, but we also have repurposed from the 67 Expo and the 76 uh, Olympics, we have repurposed many of those buildings for science, cultural activities. We have a gigantic botanical gardens. The retractable roof still works on the Olympic stadiums amid much cursing by certain people every single time they have to re-engineer that thing. But it's we're the city of festivals in the summertime, um, and and Cirque du Soleil, and Cirque du Soleil, and not only Cirque du Soleil, but the Canadian National Circus School, and we also have a secondary circus. Come by my table, one minute. Um, summation. Come party with us. <laughs> All right. Once again, we'll do questions. Thank you very much.